We've seen Pinot Noir and Sauvignon Blanc come in today, but the Napa Valley's most widely planted grape, Cabernet Sauvignon, hasn't come in yet. How does a winemaker know it's the right time? I'm here with Fred Schweiger and his son Andy of Schweiger Vineyards to find out. What are you watching for? How do you tell when it's ripe? Well, that's a lot of what we're doing right now. We go out and walk the entire vineyard block section by section and gives us an idea of the overall consistency of ripeness in a the field. Then we'll take that sample back to the lab and do analysis for sugar, for pH, for TA, and not only looking at those numbers, but looking at the taste of the juice we've made from that. So now we have a composite flavor along with the individual flavors that we got out in the vineyard. Are you doing that every day? Just about. It's all about patience. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think makes this an attractive place? You do this because you love working with the land and putting into it. Let's go do some sampling. Great. Let's do it. Sarah, let me give you one here and you can taste it and try it. The seeds, as you still see, they're green. Yeah. We want them to be brown and wrinkled, and by the time you take a bite out of them, they're going to have a nutty flavor to them. Okay. Let me show you what we do with the refractometer. So I'll pour a little bit of juice on that prism, mm -hmm. and we hold it about 90 degrees to sunlight. We'll let you be the first to read this All one right. and tell us what you're reading. And I'll be tasting. <laughs> it's going to be low. What would you guess? 17. Right on the mark. <laughs> it's, it's 17. Shall we sample a little more? Yeah, down, sure. Down the road? All right, let's go sample a little more. After a great visit with the Schweigers, there's just one more stop on my Napa Valley adventure, and that's tonight's Harvest Kickoff Party. I think it's time for me to freshen up and dust off my dancing shoes.